So in the last video about the X3, we finally got rid of those ugly grills, swapped them out for these gloss black double slit grills over here. But now in today's video, we're going to be swapping out these. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So like I said before, in today's video, we're going to be swapping out the side mirror caps on the BMW X3. Now, if you guys don't know already, the reason why I'm doing this is one, because the new ones look a lot cooler, and it's also to get rid of that weird color that's currently on the mirror caps. It was the same thing that was on the grills and a whole bunch of other things on this car, and I just really don't like it, so I'm kind of working my way through getting rid of it all. So now, obviously, as you can see, for the grills, we did gloss black, which I think looks really good. It definitely beats that bronze color that was previously on it, but for these, we're actually not doing gloss black. We're going to be doing carbon fiber. Not only that, these are also the M style one, so obviously it has the fin over here. If you guys do want any of these, I will leave some link down in the description below, so if you want to pick one up for yourself. Yeah, I'll kind of take you guys through the installation. Uh, it's going to be actually very similar to the 435, one that I did a very detailed video on. That one went really smoothly, so I'm hoping this one does as well. The thing is with the X3, it has like auto dimming side mirrors, so I'm really, really hoping I don't crack them, because that would be really bad. I'm pretty sure they're a lot more expensive than like the ones on the 435. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just get into it. What we're basically going to try to do is lift up this mirror over here, so literally like tilt it upwards that way we can take like a plastic pry tool get underneath and try to snap the mirror out of the housing then from there should just be a couple clips that holds this in unlike the 435 we're not going to be changing the turn signal over here it doesn't look too bad unlike the 435 which was like chrome this one's a little blacked out so we're actually going to keep that we're literally just going to do the mirror cap itself so yeah let's first tilt this up and then see if we can pop it off So to do this, I'm going to be using these pry tools that I have over here. I got them off Amazon for like 15, 10 bucks. I don't know, something like that. I'll also leave these linked down in the description below if you guys need them. So it comes with a whole bunch of different sizes, but I'm going to be taking the widest one possible. So yeah, with that said, let's start prying this thing up. I'm really nervous about this, guys, if I'm being honest. So just wish me luck and hopefully I don't break anything. <laughs> Alright, so as you just saw, we managed to get it off. Uh, no issues, thankfully. Something I did forget to mention, guys, is it's probably a smart idea to bring a microfiber cloth. That way, when you take the mirror off, you can kind of hang it on the microfiber cloth so it doesn't scratch the mirror or your paint. I was an idiot and I forgot to bring one down, so I kind of just improvised. I used this like plastic and paper wrapping, which the mirror came in and just wrapped it in that. But yeah, just make sure you bring a microfiber cloth. It'll definitely help a lot. So with that out of the way, we can basically now see the clips that are behind the mirror cap over here. So this one should be a lot easier since we're not going to remove the turn signal itself. We just need to pop out those clips, then we should be able to take off the mirror cap. All right, so sorry I didn't film it, guys, but I did get the mirror cap off. So now to actually do that, there are two clips. So there's going to be one over here and then one over here. And that's this one and this one. So what you guys basically want to do while this is in is sort of like push this here to the side so you can kind of like unclip it and pull it out. So there's only those two clips up top. And then there's a whole bunch along the bottom here, as you guys can see. I don't know if there's a way to get to them from over here. I honestly don't think so, but what I did guys is I just undid the top two and then the bottom ones, I kind of just wiggled the cap off. It didn't take me too long and it doesn't seem like any of the clips broke, so I think that works. I don't want to say that was the official way of uh, removing this, but it worked for me. Nothing actually broke, so this one's actually still good to go. You can probably get away with not even removing the glass on the mirror and then just kind of taking like a pry tool and going along the outside edge of the cap and just kind of prying it off. You might break those two top clips, but if you're just gonna throw this in the garbage anyways, I mean, might as well. Better than breaking the glass on the mirror. For now though, let's hop on the new one. So as you guys can see, the mirror cap is on and it looks really good. The carbon fiber itself looks really good as well. And the fitment is actually pretty good. I personally do not see any issues with it along that edge and even along the bottom over here. I think if anything, maybe on this corner, if you guys can tell the gap over there, is a little wider than the gap over here. But honestly, I feel like that's not a big deal at all. 
you're definitely not going to see that from a distance. So overall, I'll give Fitment like an 8 or 9, honestly. It's really good. Uh, the installation was actually easier than I thought it would be. And then price-wise, I think this one was about like $130. It is real carbon fiber this time around. So yeah, if you guys want these mirror caps, honestly, I think they're really worth it. For about $130 or so, uh, it makes a huge difference on the car. Here's a shot from the distance. I think it looks really, really good. I will leave some links down in the description below, so definitely go check it out. So with that side finished, it went pretty smoothly overall, thankfully. What I'm going to do now is go finish the other side. I won't drag you guys along the whole way, but I'll just put you on a time lapse. So let's do the other side, and we'll go from there. side is done as well honestly guys it's a pretty easy process once you've done it a couple times obviously I've done it on my 435 I've now done it on the x3 I'm actually gonna have to do it on the 435 again but yeah I know I said it on the other side but it honestly looks really good again in terms of fitment I see nothing really noticeable the carbon fiber again looks good yeah overall it's such a huge difference I mean this was the original one this color just looks really funny especially when it gets dirty it looks really funky obviously there's a whole bunch of fingerprints on it because I was trying to take it off shouldn't normally be like that but regardless though this one just looks so much better not just because of the color and the material but this one also has some extra design and character in it so over here and then also this as well if you guys do try to buy one outside of my link just be careful there's some that are cheaper but they don't have this extra part over here so it's pretty much just flat and then it just has like the m style thing over there whereas this one has both so overall i think it's a huge improvement but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below here is just a quick look from the front i know it's getting a little dark so it's hard to see guys and it's probably hard to see on camera but it looks so good so obviously we have the black grills over there and then we also now have the black or carbon fiber rather mirror caps over there but anyways guys that pretty much wraps up this video so if you enjoyed it make sure you give me a thumbs up drop me a comment guys let me know what you think about the new side mirror caps and then lastly if you're not already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace